Borat, the Kennedys, and maybe someone else. I don't know. It's top 10 scandalous families in history you didn't know about. Number 10, the Kennedys. For the older folks at home, this is going to be no surprise. But for the younger audience, such as myself, let me explain. The Kennedys were a wealthy and powerful family in the US. A lot of their scandals originating from organized crime, American politics, and some juicy rumors. The most famous Kennedy being JFK. My generation knows him from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Remember 5? It was, good, it was a good zombies map. The older generation remembers him for that one Sunday car trip in Dallas. You know what I'm talking about. He may have also been shacking up with Marilyn Monroe. His father was a bootlegger during the Prohibition era and his family seems to have a lot of plane crashes for some reason, I'm not sure why. The Kennedys are textbook scandalous and will be talked about for a long time to come. Number nine, the Jacksons. As much as I love fame and fortune and baby, Chetty's all about that. I wanted to be famous ever since I was a tubby kid and I'm slowly getting there too. Nice. I don't think I'll ever reach the same level as Michael Jackson. Seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if the first aliens that we meet know the moonwalk. Not because they're from outer space, but because the reach of Michael Jackson knows no bounds. Starting with the Jackson 5 in the 70s and rising to stardom and becoming the biggest star of the 80s and 90s, in the 2000s too, growing up he was pretty popular. Multiple allegations of misconduct don't look good on anyone, even for the king of pop though. He's, he, he's got a few things stacked against him. Number 8, the Trumps. The billionaire extraordinaire turned POTUS is not shy from scandal. And I'm not talking about during his presidency either. I ain't gonna touch that. Some younger folks may not remember Donald Trump from the 80s and 90s, where he was arguably more famous. After getting a small loan of a million dollars, built his real estate empire and perhaps broke a few laws and or using legal loopholes to get what he wanted. I mean, could you really trust the guy that slashed his name on everything? Trump Hotel, Trump Airlines, Trump Board Game. And that's just him, I guess. Number seven, the Rockefeller. Donald Trump might have been a billionaire or the most famous billionaire, but I still think J.D. Rockefeller takes the cake and his family, actually. A little history lesson here. Rockefeller, in a nutshell, was the first modern billionaire. Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark levels of wealth. Seriously, he was pretty rich. When oil and gas became big business in the late 1880s because industrial revolution, cars, we need oil, his company, Standard Oil, slowly rose up until they had a monopoly on the oil industry. By cutting out middle men and cornering the market, he amassed billions. Today, adjusted for inflation, his pockets were lined with a very healthy $23 billion. Say it again, $23 billion. That was all the way back then. Way before Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Buffett did it. I wouldn't mind $23 billion myself. Sounds good, right? Oh, all the McDonald's I could have. Oh, yeah. Number six, the Coppolas. Imagine being a not so well known director, then Marlon Brando walks in the room and goes, Let's make a movie. The Godfather, great movie, right? Well, it seems that filmmaking runs in the family. Awesome. A whole family of people involved in film. You gotta love that. I love film, that's awesome. However, for those fans of The Godfather, which if you haven't seen it, please do, it's, it's a masterpiece, go see it. What's not a masterpiece, however, is The Godfather 3. You can skip that one. I can just imagine the look on people's faces when they thought they were going to see a trilogy completed masterfully. It's a real stinker, folks, for many reasons, but a big one is Sofia Coppola, who plays Michael Corleone's daughter in the movie, which in real life is Francis Ford Coppola's daughter, the director of the movie. Imagine taking one of the best movie licenses of all time and almost single-handedly ruining that. Sorry, Dad. Number five, the Kardashians. Everybody knows the Kardashians. Everybody and everyone knows that they've had tons of scandals. Kim Kardashian being married to Kanye West is just scandal by proxy. Come on, come on that guy's crazy. She also had a tape that got out. Not, not her best moment. Mr. Kardashian was a lawyer on the O.J. Simpson case where he may or may not have done it. And of course, Kris Jenner, Mary Bruce Jenner, and who's now the fabulous Caitlyn Jenner and her daughter was in a weird Pepsi commercial this one time and this whole list could be about them honestly. Strangely enough for people who generally don't have talent in Hollywood, they sure get a lot of press. Which at some point is annoying, I'm sure. But be nice paparazzi or no Christmas presents. I know Santa Claus. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a list. It's early but I'm keeping a list this year. 
Number four, the queen. Being the queen of England is hard, or so I'm told. I mean, it must be kind of nice to sit in a big palace all day, eating cucumber sandwiches, and getting lost in such a big place. I, I know I would, I, I would get lost for sure. The royal family, however, are no saints and have their fair share of scandals. Prince Andrew has gotten himself into some trouble in recent tabloids, but for some who don't know, Prince Harry was quite the wild child 20 years ago. A prince on the loose, if you will. Not to mention the whole debacle with Princess Diana. The car accident is a little sus, not gonna lie. Even way back in the day when both world wars were on, there was some minor cover up to hide the family's German heritage. Kinda hard to fight the Germans when your queens are one of the Germans, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. As long as there's a crown, there's always gonna be scandal. Number three, Wally World. That's what my family calls Walmart. I don't know, that's just what we call it. The Walmart family is quite wealthy and tied to the Walmart Corporation, of course. And if you didn't know, Walmart doesn't have a squeaky clean track record. You mean a multi-billion dollar department store located in over 20 countries around the world hasn't been to every rule of law applied to them? <laughs> I'm shooketh. Not to diss Walmart, I love you guys. You got some good deals there, but there's no way anyone at home hasn't heard horror stories about working there. Come on, I know you're like, yeah, you're thinking about it right now. I know you are. On a more heinous note, Walmart's production methods are uncouth, as they use a version of labor I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. But in short, but in short their clothes are cheaply made and then sold at a huge markup. But because the production was so cheap, you can walk in there and buy a shirt for $15, and you feel like you saved. You feel good. Oh, there's a McDonald's. I'm gonna go there later. Nice. It's great. I love capitalism. It's the best. Number two, the Genovese. Probably the most infamous crime family to ever exist, or ask for protection money. One of the five families of New York, the Genovese family, were wise guys, good fellas, tough guys, made men, part of the crew, and like Don Rickles said once, probably sat around all day and smelling their guns. I love Don Rickles. It would be difficult to quantify everything the crime family had going for them. What separates the Italian mafia from everyday hoodlums is that they are organized, hence the name organized crime. Profiteering off anything they could really. Illicit substances, rackets, scams, gambling, and connections everywhere really. Watch The Irishman. It's on Netflix. It's a good movie. You'll know what I mean. Hey Frank, what do you want to do later Frank? Number one, The Clintons. Hillary, don't come in the room. Probably the grooviest president ever to hold office, Bill Clinton was president around the time I was born, so I'm not that familiar with his politics and policies. And when I think of the late 90s, I think of Nintendo 64, Tony Hawk, and MTV, so it would be difficult for me to talk about that in any way, really. Is the Clinton family a bunch of wealthy American leaders who have some ill-gotten gains and emailed the leaders? Yes, most likely, but you all know why this is number one, don't you? Did you really think that me, Big Ched, Chetty, was going to talk about Clinton and not talk about his impeachment? Being one of only three presidents to have that process fully started. Interesting, I didn't know that. What were you guys thinking about? What were you talking about? There's nothing else he did wrong, right? He's, he's innocent, he's good. Who? Monica Lewinsky? Who's that? She did what with his what? That's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here at Bumblebee. And if you too think the Oval Office is not a place for pillow talk, then check out my socials down below. I stream on the weekends. Come over and say hi sometime. I've been your host, Big Ched, and stay sweet, my little honeybees. The most fa- oh. I got some giant skin on my lips. I don't want that, sorry. <laughs> it's bad acting, it's not good. It's not bad. I'm a bad actor, trust me, I would know. You can't, you can't say that without being Italian, it's hard. You can't say Genovese. It's Genovese.